Hi, my name is Erin and I'm from New Jersey American Water. As the largest water and wastewater utility in the state, we provide residents with clean, safe, and reliable drinking water and treatment of wastewater so that it's safe to discharge back into the environment. Today, we're going to talk about the wastewater treatment process. We use water in lots of ways, to wash our hands, clothes, bodies, and more. We drink it, cook with it, and water our plants with it. We even use it to flush our toilets. But have you ever thought about what happens to the water after we use it? When you flush the toilet, take a shower, or wash your hands, where do you think it goes? It eventually goes back into the environment, but first we must treat it. When you use water, it leaves your home through sewer pipes. These pipes are located underground and are part of the collection system, which transports wastewater to the wastewater treatment plant. If you don't have a system that treats your wastewater on your property, then your home is connected to a public sewer system and your wastewater flows out of your property into a sewer pipe and away to the wastewater treatment plant. This is just the beginning of a complex collection system that can transport thousands and even millions of gallons of wastewater every day. The job of the treatment plant is to remove contaminants and potentially harmful substances from wastewater so that it can be safely returned to the environment. There are six major steps in this process. The first step is screening and grit removal. All kinds of objects can be washed or flushed into the sewer systems. As the wastewater enters the treatment plant, it passes through screens that remove untreatables, which are plastic, trash, rags, and other large debris. These types of objects can cause harm to the treatment process and to the environment if they're not removed, so it's very important that we do not rinse or flush these items down the drain. The debris is then removed off the screens, along with sand and grit, which can cause damage to pumps and other equipment in the treatment process. This helps protect the equipment in the treatment plant and saves them the cost of repair and replacement. The second step is sedimentation, which removes the solid content of sewage called sludge or biosolids. In this stage, the sewage flow is slowed down in large tanks called primary clarifiers. These tanks allow solids to fall to the bottom and clump together, creating sludge while the water above flows on to the next step. The third step is biological treatment. This is one of the major processes used in wastewater treatment. It uses bacteria to break down and remove organic waste while growing new bacteria to sustain the treatment process. Aerators pump air into the water providing oxygen, which helps the bacteria grow. These organisms clean the water by eating the organic matter in it. The bacteria grabs hold of even the tiniest pieces of organic matter and clumps them together into larger particles called flock to eat later. The flock settles to the bottom much faster than the organic matter would on its own. In the fourth step, clarification, bacteria and other solids are removed from the liquid stream and clarifiers. The partially treated sewage now flows out of the aeration basin and into a secondary clarifier. Here, any solids that are left settle to the bottom of the tank. Most of the settled bacteria are recycled to the previous step, biological treatment, to break down more incoming waste. The remaining biosolids are removed from the process. The wastewater then moves on to the next step, disinfection. Here, any potentially harmful or disease-causing bacteria or microorganisms that have survived the previous step are disinfected by adding chlorine to the water or exposing it to ultraviolet light. In the sixth step, dewatering, the excess sludge from the clarifiers may receive further treatment to inactivate pathogens before being dewatered or pressed to remove excess water. Finally, we are ready for effluent discharge. With the water cleansed and purified to meet and surpass state and federal standards, it is recycled back into the environment typically a natural body of surface water, like a stream, river, or lake. The part of the plant where the treated wastewater, or effluent, comes out of is called the outfall. At this point, the water is monitored to confirm it meets or surpasses the quality established in its discharge permit. Now you know more about where your water goes when you're done with it and the wastewater treatment process. Visit us online for more information and for additional activities and lessons.